everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Today's video is a festive one. I am so excited that we're officially on the Christmas countdown and what a better way to start with a home bargains haul full of festive things and things that aren't quite as festive, but it's one of those things when you go into home bargains, you come out with so much stuff and you get it home and you think, how much of this did I really need? It's one of those kind of hauls. Um, I have a bag so heavy that I can't really lift it and show it to you on camera, but it's full of just a range of different stuff. So I wanted to sit down and film the haul for you to give you a bit of inspiration if you're heading that way and you're looking at things that are worth picking up. Some things I've heard before, some things are new to me, so I'm really excited to dive straight in. Before I do, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit a like as well if you enjoy these style of videos and let's go. So the first two things I got is wrapping paper. Oh my goodness, even just seeing this in store, I just died a little bit of excitement. Um, these were really, really good value too. So this one is like a candy cane style, obviously as you can see. And this one here um, has, it's like a metallic silver and it says let it snow on it. This is 12 meters, they both are, and they were 99p, which is such, such good value. I have a feeling it's gonna be quite thin paper, so it's one of those that will probably rip quite easily, but we have a lot of kids in our family and like their things normally come in boxes, so this is quite good. And yeah, I just thought I'd pick two up. I'm sure I've got quite a few rolls of wrapping paper that I bought last year when it was all like discounted and Rich put in the loft alongside our Christmas decorations, which we haven't got down yet. But yeah, I thought I saw these and I was like, I may as well just pick them up for 99p each. You can't really go wrong. So the next two things are along the Christmassy rounds too. And these are two of the Wickford & Co candles. So this one is warm apple and cinnamon. And this is like Christmas in a candle. Oh, I love this smell this time of year. It just really just it just smells like Christmas and it makes me all excited. So I got one of those again, two ninety nine. It's huge and when you burn these candles, it actually like properly fills a room, which I was really surprised at. So every time I go to home bargains, I pick one up. Excuse the fact that you might be able to hear hailstones as well. I've like chosen the worst night to film, but needs must. Um, the next one I got is a gingerbread one. We are actually currently burning another one of these at the moment and it smelled so good that I just had to pick another one up. Oh, this smells so Christmassy too. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. So I got the two of them because I thought actually the two of these will get me through probably until Christmas. I also have a Christmas Yankee candle upstairs that Rich always buys me one every year. So I'll have that to burn actually around Christmas, but I thought just in the lead up, these are perfect. Diving slightly away from Christmas, just for the moment, it's Heidi's first birthday on the 7th of December, which is freaking me out. In like a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna have a one year old. Does anyone else remember me doing my pregnancy uploads and my live pregnancy test? video and now suddenly she's gonna be one it's petrifying but with that in mind i've picked up a few party supplies from home bargains because they are just so cheap and affordable i did get sent a box of party supplies from sparkles giftware over on instagram um so i'll leave their information down below to check them out because they have helped me like massively but i saw a couple of things i couldn't not get so these are self-inflating balloons there's four of them and it just says birthday princess on them i got these again because we have nieces and nephews well actually no nieces but nephews um that i thought would love their own little balloon as well so that they feel like they're part of the day and i think these were like one pound fifty or something so i just thought it's really really easy isn't it you don't have to like blow it up and i could put them in like little party bags or something but yeah i just thought that's really cute the theme for her birthday i've gone quite simple with it i was going to do a baby shark theme but then i thought i'm already sick of hearing that song and i don't want to encourage it anymore so instead i'm doing a like gold and rose gold and pink theme just to try and like keep it a little bit more simple. And so I saw this, which is some foil bunting that just says, let's party. We've got quite a lot of banners that we were kindly sent by Sparkles Giftware, but I saw this again, it was like nothing really. Um, and it was just like perfect to go with like everything else we've already got. You can't have too many banners to just fill out the house especially as we're gonna have like friends and family come over to celebrate. So I just picked that one up because I just thought it was so like on 
theme. So yeah, pick that one up again, really, really affordable. So back to some Christmassy bits. These were £1.49 and it's ribbons and bows. I love dressing all of our presents in things like this. It adds such a cool touch and this also comes with these as well. I haven't really used these before, but I thought that would make a really nice touch and just traditional ribbon. I always wrap our presents in bows and ribbons. I think it just looks so nice. And £1.49, I've just thought I may as well pick these up. I'm sure you can get them for the same price pretty much everywhere. But just soon as I picked up the wrapping paper, I was on a bit of a Christmas splurge. So I picked those ones up. And finally, Christmas Seflora. So this is the cranberry and orange one. I had this one last year. I remember it smelled so good, but I saw it and I was like, I have to pick it up. Yeah, it smells just as I remember. It's not like cinnamony or spicy or anything. So if you don't like that too much, you will like this. I feel like it's officially the season of Christmas to Flora's and I saw this. They normally, like when I've gone in there the last couple of times, they've been out of their Christmas scents. Like people have been picking them up so quickly. So I saw this one and I was like, I have to pick that up. I forgot I got another one too. So this is a warm cinnamon one, again 99p. This just smells traditionally like Christmas. If you like cinnamon scents, you will love this. And especially when you've got the heating on in your house and it's really, really cold, put a little bit of this on your radiators and it makes your house smell so, so good. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use this one for, especially in December time when I just want everything to smell like cinnamon. This is gonna be my go-to for like the radiators and the diffusers and things like that. So. Pensafloras are just so cheap that I just had to pick up another one. A couple of random little bits here. I got some birthday candles because Rich's birthday is end of November. So Rich and Heidi's birthday is like two weeks apart. And so I just got these for a birthday cake. Really simple. I think these were like 29p or something ridiculous. But I just don't have any candles at home. So I thought I'd get those whilst I was there. I also got a couple of face masks. So I'm actually going to be putting these in our hampers. So that's for my sister and Rich's sisters too. We always do like a little Christmas hamper that just includes like all different things. And I saw these because they were printed. I thought that they would just make quite nice gifts. Um, I don't know how exactly beneficial they'll be for your skin, but I just thought that they would look so funny. So I got three of those. There's another one in there somewhere. Um, but I just thought it was quite funny. I also got another Bon Jella. So this stuff is just magical. <laughs> when you have a baby that's teething what feels like every single day over the last couple of months, we apply this all the time. And I did use a Dentinox once because I felt like that was making a difference. But as soon as we switched to Bon Jella, this works so, so much better. So if you have a teething baby that, when they're at their worst, you literally do anything to help them out. Bongella is traditionally a lot more expensive than the Dentinox ones, but when you get it in like Savers or Home Bargains or B&M, you can only get it for 2 dollars So I just stock up when I see it for that price because in Superdrug it's like a fiver and Tesco's too. So I just thought I'd pick another one up. We have like three unopened upstairs. I'm not taking any risks. I do not ever want to run out of this ever again. I think I mentioned in like my last B&M video that we were on like a washing machine cleaner hype and that's still going. <laughs> so I picked up this one. This is just a clean it washing machine cleaner. So the one I got before was 2 dollars It was a one use one and that worked really well actually. Our washing machine is definitely on the blink of like dying a death but we just kind of want to keep it going for a couple more months because buying a washing machine just before Christmas is not what we want especially as we have to buy some new car tires which it always happens the worst time of year so this was less than a pound I'm sure and it's just one of those ones you can use to use as maintenance for your washing machine but yeah I just thought I'll get another one just so that I'm regularly cleaning the washing machine like that because Normally I go months and I think, oh God, I need to clean the washing machine and it's grimy as hell. So I just thought if I get a bit of a stash of products then it will force me to actually clean it more regularly. So yeah, just got one of those. A couple more random products, Imperial Leather Bubble Bath. I always buy one of these whenever I go to Home Bargains, 89p. Love it so much. I don't think you can really beat Bubble Bath. It doesn't really matter which one you get. Normally I get the stress relief one, but they didn't have that. So I just thought I'd pick this one up just to have one. And I also got another one of these. This is the Astonish Delicate Non-Bio, but what I really like about this, I bought it in, I think my last B&M haul and on like a bit of a whim. And then I used it at home and I'm really impressed with it. It smells really, really nice. And if you have a young baby, you'll know that Non-Bio just 
smells like non-bio just smells quite fresh and i don't mind it but i like the fact that this has a scent to it so this is just like floral it's peony and magnolia and so i just thought it's worth getting another one i think this is one pound 29 and you get 21 washes so it's so so affordable and yeah i'm obsessed with this i'll be picking up more of these when i go in next too but i just thought i'd get another one just whilst it was there but i got some christmas tags these are 29p for some of them are 10 packs, some of them are 12, and I just picked up a load because we go through Christmas tags so quickly. And then when I remember to buy them, I normally end up buying them in Tesco's for like ridiculous amounts. So yeah, these are 29p. So we've got these ones that just say ho 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 on them, and it's like a metallic red. That's a 10 pack. This is another 10 pack too, and it's just like that tartan material that's quite classic over Christmas. This is a 12 pack because they're slightly more basic, but they just say Merry Christmas. Again, I thought that they looked really, really nice. I got another Ho 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 one because you can't have too many. And the last ones I got was a 12 pack that matched the wrapping paper that say Let It Snow in that metallic silver. This will definitely be enough for like all of our presents to everyone. But like I said, for like 30p a pack. So that's spent like £1.50 on all of my Christmas tags, whereas normally I end up spending that on one pack up Tesco. So yeah, really, really good value. All of like your Christmas wrapping and things like that, definitely go to Home Bargains. It's so, so affordable. Two more things for Heidi's birthday. I got these cone bags with little cable ties. I thought this would be really good if I order some sweets online just to like fill these in with, like little pick and mix bits for the kids on her birthday. I thought that'd be just like a really nice touch on the table. And then I got this, this was 79p and I just died. Like me and my mom got so excited. So I said that she was really obsessed with Baby Shark. So I bought her this card from me and Rich and we'll probably get her like a moon pig card. It would be more like of a keepsake. But I just thought I could not get this for 79p too. It's so, so cute. So if you have any like children in your family that love Baby Shark, this will go down so, so well. I got these as well. I feel like I've got the world's most random home bargains haul in the world. But these are little bubble bursts. So these are what you can put in like Prosecco or like drinks or whatever around Christmas time. And again, we bought these for my sister and Rich's sister for their hampers. One's peach, one is strawberry. These were on offer for two for £1.50, which is such good value. I remember Rich bought me a set of the company that originally did this. I don't know off the top of my head but I know that he probably spent in excess of like a tenner on them. So when I saw them like this, I thought that's so, so good, especially around Christmas when you were just drinking all the time. Sometimes it's nice to add a bit of flavor. So yeah, that was really, really good. If like us, you are doing Christmas hampers, I saw these and I picked up three of them. These are just hampers, like hamper wrap. That's exactly what it explains there. So it's got like the inside like tissue paper bits to like fill it out a little bit, a tag and a cellophane to like wrap it up. So again, last year we had a mad dash for like cellophane because we couldn't wrap them up. I completely forgot to get some and these were 79p each. So I got three because we do three hampers every year and they just look so, so nice, especially if you're thinking of doing like a food hamper or something. Something like this just makes them so much more like perfected towards the end. So yes, again, just so affordable that like you can't go wrong. And the last couple of bits. So we've had these before and I love them. So I picked up two more. These are the True Living Wax Melts. These are 49p each, which is so, so affordable when you compare it to Glade and Yankee Candle and stuff. I didn't think that they were gonna be that good when I first got them because I thought they're really like cheap. So I didn't think that they'd be that good. But let me tell you, this is my favorite smell in the world. Oh, it's so fresh and like fruity, but smells like genuine melon. And I love it so much. And we got a couple last time and we burnt them like obviously in our house and it smelled amazing everywhere. My mum and dad came in and was like, what is that smell that smells so good? I was like, home bargains wax melts, you wouldn't believe it. So I got two of those. And then because it's Christmas, I got an apple cinnamon one as well. Oh, I just love that smell so much. It makes me so excited for Christmas. So I got three of those. And the final thing is a Fabulosa, or Fabulosa. I don't really know how you're gonna say that, but this is basically the Zaflora dupe. And this was 99p for a bigger bottle. They didn't have any winter scents 
in my home bargains. This one was Pink Grapefruit, which is a Sephora scent that I normally buy anyway. And I thought that this would be really good for when you're like doing a little bit under the sink or in the toilet where it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and I love the Pink Grapefruit one. It smells so, so citrusy. And let me tell you, they smell the same, like honestly the same. I think if I had like a sniff test comparing the two, I wouldn't be able to tell. You get more in here for your money compared to Sephora, which is why I picked it up. But yeah, really, really good and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm really excited to try it. So that's it for my home bargains haul, full of just about anything and everything. I hope that this has inspired you for your next shop. Oh my God, I love going to home bargains so much. And I think that entire shop costs about £34, which considering how much I got and how much random stuff I got, I didn't think that was too bad either. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.